Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the secret forge emblems on top of showing you how to solve the mysterious data pad that you get after you get Izanagi's Burden. Much like the Niobe Labs video, this video will not go over how these puzzles were solved. We'll be saving that for a much larger project, hopefully soon. If you want to know how they were solved right now, you can check the description for the Reddit mega thread, and I highly suggest giving it a read. The Raid Secrets community did some really great work on these puzzles. All credit goes to them 100%. You will need the Spiteful Fang Bow, the Tatara's Gaze Sniper, and the Hammerhead Machine Gun in order to get these secret emblems. For the Mysterious Data Pad, you will need a full set of Black Armory Forge Armor on top of three Black Armory Forge weapons. The weapons need to be either forged weapons, and I think raid weapons with radiant slots work too. I was able to use threat level, which is from the raid, but if you're paranoid, just use the bow, sniper, and machine gun. You cannot use randomly dropped legendary weapons that sometimes drop from a forge upon completion. Make your way to the Volunder Forge. We're going to start with the machine gun. You're going to shoot the flame first. Then you're going to stand on the sun and shoot the following in this order. Plus, U, L, F, B, E, R, H, T, plus. Next, you're going to stand on moon and shoot. Plus, U, L, F, B, E, R, H, plus, T. In that order. It's very similar to the first one. Finally, You'll shoot the storm, and you'll get the emblem. Shoot, rain cloud. Next, switch to your sniper. You're going to stand on the tiger and shoot fish, lotus, and temple in that order. Then, you're going to stand on dragon and shoot archway, rabbit, bamboo, temple. Again, in that order. You should get your second emblem when done correctly. We're shooting the archway. We're gonna shoot the rabbit. We're gonna shoot the bamboo. And then we're gonna shoot this thing. Why did that, I just did. Finally, you're gonna break out the bow. Stand on butterfly and shoot trees, then paper. Stand on sun and then shoot the heart two times, then trees, then wings for your third emblem. Next up, we have the Mysterious Data Pad. This requires you to have Izanagi's Burden for reasons you'll see in a moment. Head to Niobe Labs. Before you do anything, you need to pull this lever underneath the big platform next to where you start the Niobe Labs mission. This will bring you into a new mission where you can start the puzzle. Be sure to have on the bow, sniper, and machine gun. You will need them all. Our fates are written on the fine parchment of time. Shoot the paper. A never-ending cyclone of conflict and character. Shoot the storm. We struggle to find times of stillness in the shrine of peace. Shoot the temple. And watch for the next new dawn signaling tomorrow. Shoot the sun. 
Our eyes drawn to the sky looking for the brightest constellation, shoot the star, that we will shape the coming days with our own hands, shoot the hand, and the black armory will endure forever. This symbol is new, it is underneath the main platform. Go to where you started the mission and look up on the bottom of said platform. Shoot it and you will move on to the next step. Two taken enemies with shields will spawn. You need to now switch to Izanagi's Burden to remove those shields. If you don't have any ammo because of the weapon swap, adds will spawn in shortly after for you to kill. When you kill one of them, two blights will spawn. You can kill these blights with anything. Don't waste your Burden ammo. More shielded enemies will spawn. More adds will spawn for ammo if you need it. Remove their shields the same way and kill them. Once you're done with that, you're going to need to do a completion of every forge using full black armory forge armor and weapons. That armor that you've been getting from Ada for doing two weapon frames every week. If you don't have a full set, remember that you can buy the item that will have an armor piece drop upon completion of forging a weapon. You will also need black armory weapons, like I said, preferably all of the forged ones in every slot, but I think certain raid weapons work too, like threat level worked for me, as you can see. You do not need to have the forges be max temper, you just need a completion. After you get all of your completions, head back to Ada, and you'll get another emblem, and also a very brief cutscene. And those are the known secret emblems of the black armory. Again, thank you to the Raid Secrets community for your stellar, stellar work in figuring all of this out. I really wanted to contribute to this, but sadly, I was away for a lot of December, so I, uh, I couldn't. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.